Hi! In this video, we're going to be examining the Alpha and Omni Sampler virtual instruments inside of Mixcraft. In this video, we'll be breaking down the interfaces and functions of Omni and Alpha Sampler, and then creating a beat using the Omni Sampler. To begin, let's take a look at the Omni Sampler, as the Alpha Sampler is largely the same thing. Here in the center, we have the sample pads, each of which can contain a single sample. Over here to the left, you have the groups of sample pads, so you can load quite a few samples onto a single Omni Sampler. In a way, you could use a single Omni Sampler to create your entire beat by loading up all the sounds you need onto it. However, I like to work with separate Omni Samplers so I can mix them individually. Up here in the top right, we have the sample identifier, and you can load in your sound by clicking Load Sound here, or by dragging one in from your project. In this video, though, we'll be following the time-honored tradition of manually slicing out our own sounds from some loops. Below that, we have the options for that pad, like looping the sample, reversing the sample, or enabling lo-fi mode, which adds some crunchy lo-fi old sampler characteristics to the sound. In the center here, we have the controls for that pad. In the pitch area, we have control over the fine-tuning, rubber, which acts as a pitch envelope, and transpose, which transposes the sound up or down in semitones. Over here is the filter, which is a low-pass filter, so we get control over the cutoff and resonance of the filter. Next up is the envelope, which gives us control over the attack and release of the sample. The envelope is handy to use especially on drum sounds to trim things up and make them nice and tight. Finally, over on the far right we have the output, so we have the control for the volume of that pad as well as the panning position of that pad. Down in the bottom we have the mod wheel and the mod wheel destination. The mod wheel can be tied to either pitch or the filter cutoff, and you can adjust the speed here. Below that, you can adjust the shape of the modulation to be a triangle or a square. And finally, you can tempo sync the modulation to be at a specific tempo rate. Then in the bottom right we have the master volume, which controls the master output volume for the Omni Sampler. If you ever need to make changes to all of your pads at once, you can enable the global button here, which then makes all of these controls apply globally to every single pad. So if you needed to go in and adjust the release, or perhaps enable the lo-fi button for every pad at once, you can do that here quickly by enabling the global button. Alpha Sampler over here is largely the same thing, however it's just designed to hold a single sample rather than multiple samples. Similar to the Omni Sampler, we have the sample ID up here. Once again, you can click Load Sound to load a sound or drag it in from your project, or manually slice one in as we'll be doing today. Then we have the Volume Envelope with Attack and Release, the Pitch Area with Fine Tune and Rubber, Filter, which is the Low Pass Filter once again with Cutoff and Resonance, the Mod Wheel with the same controls as Omni Sampler, then in the bottom we have Monophonic Mode which forces us to be monophonic or play only a single note at a time, Loop mode, which loops the sample, reverse, which reverses it, and the root key setting. So, if you have a sample that's tonal, you can set the root key of the original sample here. Over on the right, you once again have the lo-fi button at the bottom, and the volume, which is the master output volume of the alpha sampler. To quickly demonstrate the alpha sampler, one common use might be taking a single note sample and turning it into a playable instrument. Here, I have a single note recorded from a harp. So, we can drag this into our alpha sampler, and then set the root key based on the sample note, in this case, F sharp 4. Now we can play this single sample across the keyboard as a full playable instrument. And that's really all there is to it for the Alpha and Omni Sampler. With all that out of the way, let's have some fun and make a beat using the Omni Sampler here. To begin, I've loaded up three different samples that I want to use to create my beat. Let's solo out the drums and take a listen to the drum samples we'll be using. Below that, I've got a nice keys loop here. Then finally, I've got my bass loop down here. So we've got plenty of raw material to work with to chop up and start creating a beat. Before we begin slicing up these samples, we'll want to make sure that they're in tempo with our project, which is currently set to 92 beats per minute. To set the tempo, we'll double click on the sample to open up the sound editor. We can enlarge this here, and go to Use Project Tempo, and enter the original clip tempo. Then we'll repeat this for each of the following sounds. Now that we've corrected the tempo of all of our samples we'll be using, we'll go in and add one alpha sampler for each of these sounds. So in total, we'll need to add three virtual instrument tracks and then make them all omni samplers. To do that, we'll go up to the top and insert a virtual instrument track and then repeat this two more times. 
To make things nice and organized, we'll separate these to line them up with the respective tracks, and that way we have things lined up a bit easier to work with. Next up, we just need to change our virtual instruments to be omni samplers, so we'll do this for all three of these virtual instrument tracks. For the sake of organization, let's name all of these omni samplers so we know what they are. Now that we've named all these, let's begin by chopping up some drums. To begin, I'll double click on my drum loop here so that it's open in the sound editor down in the bottom. Next, we can right click on the keyboard icon to open up our omni sampler. Let's zoom out a bit to get a better overview of the sample. What we want to look for here is a kick drum, a hat, and a snare. That way we have all the drums we need to drop into our omni sampler in order to create this beat. Whenever I'm chopping samples, I like to go up here to the top and make sure that my snap to grid is off. That way I can manually go in and really finely trim these samples out. Let's start at the beginning and take a listen to the loop. Really, I think everything we need can be found in this first section. We have a kick drum, a snare drum, and a hat sample. To chop these out, we can zoom in and then click and drag till the end of the sample, which should be right about here. Now, we can click and drag the selection and bring it into our Omni Sampler. Now, if I play C4 on my keyboard, we should hear the kick drum. Cool. Let's repeat that and find a snare, which I believe should be right here. Excellent. Let's click and drag to trim that out, and then drag that up into the Omni Sampler. Finally, this should be a hat sound. Excellent, and let's click and drag that and drag it into the Omni Sampler. Now we should have a kick, snare, and a hi-hat. Awesome, now let's repeat this process for the following instruments. Similarly, for the keys, we just need to go in and find some samples. In this case, this is pretty easy because each of these is a chord, so we can just go in and grab the different chords and then we should be pretty much all set in only a few clicks. Let's try those out. In this case, it might be a good idea to tighten up the release of these samples. To do that for all of them, we'll go to Global and drop the release down. Let's try that out. All right, very cool. Easy enough. We can close this out and finally chop out our bass line. The bass should be easy enough as there's really only two notes, so we can go in and then chop one out, drag it in, and then locate the next set of notes, chop one of those out, and drag it in. Let's try these out. And I think we are all set to begin making our beat. Now that we're done chopping our samples, we can go into our mixer and twirl this down and then begin recording our beat. Since we've chopped out our samples and we won't need these loops anymore, we can simply mute these tracks and begin using our Omni Sampler instruments. Once again, for the sake of keeping things organized, we can move all these Omni Samplers to be together, that way we can see things all at once. Now, let's craft a quick beat using these three Omni Sampler instruments. Very cool, let's go in and do some keys. And finally, let's lay out a bass line. Excellent, now that we've got all these parts recorded, we can click on all of them, right click and go to MIDI editing and quantize. We'll leave a little bit of swing enabled and hit OK. And now we can take a listen to the completed loop. Now it's certainly not the best groove on earth, but I think it was pretty easy and fun to make using the Omni sampler in only a couple of minutes. At this point, you should have a good understanding of the Omni and Alpha Sampler virtual instruments in Mixcraft and how to utilize them for chopping out your own samples and using them in your projects. And that should do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching.